Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty. Want to jump back into the discussion here of America's increasing uh, racial conflict that's um, happening right now. I've already uh, done a video on this, which I will link below, that basically brings to light, or at least expresses my view, that I personally think that this is part of an agenda. Um, I'll get more get to more of that later on in the video, but I want to start out by saying that black lives matter and all lives matter, whether you're just saying it, whether it's the hashtag, whatever, um, it is a false dichotomy. What does that mean, false dichotomy? False dichotomy means it is a, it's a choice that um, someone's made, uh, kind of forced to make that is an incorrect choice. So it's like if you said to someone, what kind of car do you wanna have? A sports car or a pickup truck? Well, what if I wanted to have a sedan? That wasn't one of my choices. So I'm gonna get into how that applies to these two popular phrases, right? Black lives matter and all lives matter. So. Black Lives Matter, without getting into who's behind it and whether or not there's any kind of conspiracy or any kind of agenda to it, let's just take it on face value. And I think that for a lot of people who are throwing that around, the activists, the regular people who are African American, who feel like they're being isolated or targeted by police or by society or by whatever, People who say black lives matter who aren't really deeply entrenched in the movement and they're just kind of identifying with that, to them, and I'm speaking as someone who doesn't really identify with that personally, but just to try to do my best job of understanding, those people who are saying that I believe what they're saying is that there is some sort of racism in America. Um, obviously, I think the main source of where that comes from is from the police in the eyes of those who say Black Lives Matter and who re represent themselves under that phrase or that hashtag. Um, they believe that either they're, they're unfairly targeted or targeted more often by police or that they're given harsher penalties um, without getting into the data and the statistics, I just want to do a high-level overview of both sides and then say why it's a false dichotomy. All Lives Matter, on the other hand, is something that, from my experience, you're mostly going to hear from white people. I'm not saying that some black people don't use that phrase or identify with that phrase, and I'm not saying that some other nationalities or races or ethnicities or whatever... Um, don't also use that. But just going for a high-level overview here, let's say white people, for the most part, are saying all lives matter. And what do they mean when they say all lives matter? Now, have I ever said this? Maybe once or twice when Black Lives Matter was just happening. So, you know, I'm just being honest and putting that out there. Today, I wouldn't identify with either group, and I'll tell you why at the end of this, um, basically because of the false dichotomy. But when a white person, for the most part, this is a generalization, says all lives matter, what they're trying to say, in my view, is something along the lines of, yes, maybe black lives matter, or not maybe, <laughs> of course black lives matter is what they're saying, I think, but more importantly, perhaps, all lives matter, which is, I think, a sort of underhanded way of insinuating that black lives matter is against white people or is only concerned about the needs of black people. So where does that take us? So first of all, right, I think that using either one of these phrases essentially creates conflict because if you're saying black lives matter, a white person is forced to either, especially online with social media and stuff, we're forced to either like and approve of that message or if we're going to be critical of it well what what about black lives matter is objectionable what about black lives matter is something that we could not be in favor of 
Well, speaking from a white guy's perspective, and not that that really matters, I think that any objective person could come to these same conclusions. When you say Black Lives Matter, again, like I said, the presumption is there's something about how black people are treated in society that's unfair. That may or may not be the case. Um, but what, what I do know is that a lot of the support that goes behind that, a lot of the data that's thrown around, could also be responded to with other data that shows that it's it's a it's a more it's a more um it's a more rich or complex issue than simply all right there's more black people in jail than white people perhaps so is there any truth to black lives matter is there any instances where police have been racist is there any aspects of society that isolate or target black people over other types of people other groups perhaps yes i mean i i don't i don't profess to sit here and tell you we live in a perfectly um ideal society where no one is racist at all however that's the upside of black size black lives matter is that if you're a black person and you're trying to point out that you know it's not the society isn't perfectly equal or fair and it's not if in fact it isn't, then that's a fair point. However, Black Lives Matter, when taken to extremes, which it often is, exerts itself in the way of protests, um, sometimes looting, um, you know, after the Dallas police shooting situation, which, again, I'm not going into all the nitty-gritty of that right in this video. I, and I'm not saying this represents even... 1% necessarily of black people, but I have heard some people who identify with Black Lives Matter also saying, well, good for, or, you know, that's what should happen. Like, that cop should be shot, or cops should be getting shot. Again, I'm not sitting here defending police officers. I think there's a lot wrong with how society uses police force to impose order. I think there should be some sort of order. I think there should be some sort of um, regulation to society where by, um, you know, people can't run around doing willy-nilly whatever they want to do, robbing, raping, killing, whatever. There should be some sort of accountability force within society. How I think it should be done is, is going to be saved for another video. But for any Black Lives Matter person who identifies with that, that, that they would say that, oh, good these cops got shot, well, obviously, the cops that got shot in Dallas weren't the same cops that shot, you know, Alton Sterling or Philando Castile or any, any of the other people. So how is that fair, A, and then how are you setting a positive example for your movement by saying that that's fair? And that's where I'm getting to with this false dichotomy. Let me touch on the White Lives Matter and then I'll kind of wrap it up. White Lives Matter is also... A, a, a flawed sentiment maybe it started out well-meaning just like black lives matter it probably started out from a well-meaning place today it's not productive so both of these phrases are not productive anymore um sorry that's how i feel <laughs> um all lives matter is essentially almost always used in response to someone saying black lives matter so it's like if i said my house burnt down and I see this going around. It's like saying, well, all houses could burn down. Or fire is bad. Right, fire is bad, but I'm just letting you know my house burnt down. So if anyone could make a donation or if anyone could show some sympathy, that's what I'm looking for because my house burnt down. Or my house is on fire. Someone should put it out. Again, I could and I will do another video or multiple videos talking about specifically what is endemic or problematic in African-American culture or society or how the criminal justice system uh, targets blacks over whites over other groups, etc. However, that is the, is the point of view of Black Lives Matter is that, well, my house is on fire, meaning my culture, my group is being unfairly targeted. So while it is true, yes, that all lives matter, I'm actually just pointing out the discrepancy between black lives and other lives insofar as if 
if I have a greater chance of being arrested or shot or whatever because I'm black, meaning I'm not black, but I'm saying if I were a black person, then that's where I'm coming from when I say black lives matter. Meaning, hey, can we all pay attention to the fact that blacks are not treated as equally or as other people are treated, other groups are treated simply in virtue of, oh, I'm a black guy, I'm driving, and now I'm getting pulled over because I look suspicious to a cop because I'm black. There's probably some truth to that. When you say all lives matter, what you're saying to a black person, in my view, is don't, I don't want to hear about it. Kind of like, it's like, it's a rejection. It's like saying, yeah, I don't care. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a club. It's like saying, pickup trucks matter. And then saying, go Porsche or go Mustang. I like both types of vehicle, right? Like I like trucks and I like cars or sports cars. But when you're saying to someone who says, I love my truck, I love my sports car. You're in a sense telling them that the thing they are concerned about isn't relevant or isn't important. So my point of doing this video, and I've been thinking about this a lot, and that's why I kind of did this the way I did where I talk about each side, and now I'm going to wrap it up, is I realized that people want to quickly get something that confirms their bias, and then they want to move on and feel better. So I think a lot of black people, not everybody, want to find justification for people who are saying Black Lives Matter so they can keep identifying with that because there's this group bias where, well, how can I be a black guy and not use the phrase or the hashtag Black Lives Matter? How can I not go out to this protest? How can I not support this movement? Well, you can look at it for what it is and say, well, gee, I agree with some of this. I agree with some of what's wrong with in the world, but what I see the protesters doing, you know, affecting businesses, you know, you know, uh, you know, if there's any rioting or looting or any violence involved, if that's part of Black Lives Matter and you're a black person who's peaceful, you have to ask yourself, is it worth putting my name and, and signing on this movement when maybe they're not doing things the way I think they should? Just the same, if you're a white person or if you're a black person, if you're another type of person, whatever, doesn't matter, and someone says Black Lives Matter, and you do that knee-jerk response of All Lives Matter, you're basically just spitting in the face of that person. The person's trying to express that they feel marginalized in some way, and you're saying, tough, tough noogies, you know? I don't care about how you feel. I don't care you feel marginalized. Guess what? Buck up. Every life matters. You're not special. You're not different. You're not wrongly uh, affected in any way. So <clears throat> what we're doing essentially, and that's why it's a false dichotomy, is we're asking everybody more or less with the social pressure to get into one of two groups. So either you're a black person and you identify with Black Lives Matter, or you're a white person and you identify with All Lives Matter. And either way, these two groups have been trained to be against one another. And the point of this video is, is simple. That those two things are toxic. Does that mean that Black Lives Matter has no leg to stand on? Of course not. Does that mean that All Lives Matter is wrong? Of course not. Every life matters. And what you're saying with All Lives Matters, in the, in the positive sense, what someone's positively trying to say is that I am not a racist person. I am a person that really is for equality. But when you say Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, over and over, it starts to sound like you're saying... I'm not interested in how Indian people or Chinese people or Mexicans or Jews or anything, Muslims, whatever, how they're being unfairly treated. All I care about as a black person is black people. So that's worse than all lives matter. If you take it to an extreme, it's like saying white lives matter. And I've seen that too. I'm not even going to go there because I think we can all point out how, in effect, White Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter should be taken the same way. But when you say White Lives Matter, whether you mean to or not, and whether it's fair or not, I think to a large extent, that's read immediately as a racist statement. Because it's like, well, and then the whole white privilege thing comes in where it's like, oh, well, white people have it great. Like, why would you need to say White Lives Matter? It's more like saying white lives don't matter as much as 
as they as as we we act like they do and that gets us back into racism so long story short guys i i really feel like this um this debate this back and forth this false dichotomy is plaguing us and the only way to get out of this uh short circuit that we're in is to start working on our language and to start identifying how language can trap us and manipulate us. We don't have to say white lives matter. We don't have to say black lives matter. We don't have to say all lives matter. We could actually have a conversation. By loading everything up into these phrases, we're, 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 we're making it impossible to talk about issues. You want to talk about how many black people are shot by cops? Well, for that to be fairly addressed, you really ought to talk about how many